spirit than it was then. I mean, I remember there was some people saying that, that you didn't deserve the, you know, the shot, which made no sense to me, you know. But now, after all your trials and tribulations, the Lomachenko and everything, you think the fight is bigger now, or, or what? Um, yeah, I think the fight is bigger now. I think a lot of people yeah. overlook the fact that when we were trying to get the fight with Johnny back when Johnny was the one to turn the fight down. You know, you feel the the Havers fight with Lomachenko. You know, like I say, in this particular case, uh, it's, it, I feel as though that it's been magnified even more after the loss with Lomachenko. So apparently he got the reward, but he still got the risk. You think he took the fight? Because, yeah, I know he turned the fight before, turned it down. You think he took the fight because you lost to Lomachenko? Yeah. Or? To me, it doesn't even matter. I don't know if I took it because of what happened, or et cetera. At the end of the day, we expect the outcome to be us winning. I know you're not surprised, but it, it surprises some people that uh, you're going into this uh, the favorite. It, it, it probably doesn't doesn't uh, surprise you though. Um, it, it it doesn't surprise me. I, honestly, I never really thought of it that way. I looked at myself as being the favorite in any match that we're in. If you're a fighter and you don't feel as though that you're the favorite, then it's pointless for you to even get in the ring at all. You know, so I would expect for Johnny to feel that way. I expect for Johnny to feel that, though, that he's the favorite when it comes to this fight. His point is to fight someone that don't feel that they have a, a, a possibility of winning the fight. You know, you definitely don't want that. But uh, it's cool, man. A fan, we're going to get the fans what they want to see. Does it look at your speed that should carry you to a victory? I mean, you're more elusive. Uh... Well, we feel as though speed would definitely carry, but you need more than just speed. You know, if you have a smart corner, like I say, the smart thing to do will. He's fast, let's punch when he punches. Or he's fast, let's close the distance, let's smother his shots. Where speed isn't a factor when we're in close. You know, these are things that you have to look for, you know, to be able to counteract. You know, these are some of the things we worked on in our training camp. Having a decent inside game just as well as a good outside game. Being able to read your opponent. Being able to make the necessary adjustments on the fly before you even get to the corner. You know, these are the things that you need to be a great fighter. You need to have the ability to be personal. He's got the power. That's, that's what I would think, the, the thing that you worked on the most, that left hook of his. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, to be good at anything, you have to you have to study. You know, we study for this one. Of course, we know this left hook is one of the things that you like to do about. It. So quite naturally, I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna let him have what he wants. You want your left hook? I'm gonna go right to it. So he's been knocked out before. You think you can knock him out? Yeah. I feel as though anyone can get knocked out when you got on eight ounce gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Were you <laughs> were you shocked when um, he knocked out Abner Mars in the first round? What was your reaction when you was watching that? Actually, I was upset because. In that particular time, we were planning on fighting Abner after that fight. You know, and Abner lost, you know, uh, which is cool. You know, uh, everything happens for a reason. So Abner lost to Johnny, and now we have an opportunity to compete against Johnny. If everything goes as planned the way we wanted to go, I'll be the new featherweight WBC world champion, and I will certainly immediately after want to defend the world title with Abner. This is what this is what you've been working for, though. I mean, to get that belt. I've never been working for a belt. You know, it's funny. A lot, a lot of fighters, um, they they have this vision or this dream to want to become a world champion. That was never a goal of mine. I always wanted to be an uh, Olympian. I accomplished that feat in, uh, in 2008. You know, I had a lot of people that I didn't know at all that genuinely had my support, genuinely just just had my best interest at hand. You know, and for me not to be able to compete in the Olympics and actually be one of the favorites to medal in the Olympics, you know, I feel like I let a lot of people down by not being able to compete. It was then when I decided, well, the only way I could possibly make it up to my fans is to become a world champion. You know, so this is honestly a new goal of mine that's just a real curve. You know, so that's, that's actually weird when you think about it. Gary, you know, despite him being